guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I want to talk about my crystal books. Well, on my um, live chats that I do every Saturday, um, I'm usually busting out you, you know, my, my crystal books and all my lovely crystals. And, um, I know that I made a video on my, like, you know, spiritual witchy, like book collection. And I know that I had some of these books in that collection. Um, but I've never specifically just talked about like my crystal books. Um, and I used to have a lot more crystal books, but I found that uh, a lot of books, I mean, had beautiful covers, had beautiful pictures inside, but a lot of them just had the exact same information. And what I like about this very small collection that I have is that it has a varied um, information. You know, it, it's it, 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 they, they all kind of complement each other where it's not contradictory, but more, um, oh, there's also this about this crystal or a different point of view about this crystal. Um, and I don't use the books in the way of like, um, let's say, uh, you know, like here, like I have a piece of, uh, you know, um, kind of like a druzy quartz, like I call it my quartz cave. <laughs> um, but we have some, some quartz here, you know, and let's say I look up quartz in one of these, uh, books and it says, well, this, these are the uses for quartz. And, um, this is the vibration of quartz. Um, I take that more as a, like interesting information, but for me, I like to sit with my crystals and I get my own information. Um, and you know, I use it how I feel, you know, it needs to be used. Um, but I do like getting additional information to go along with my own intuition, which is why I like these books so much. So let's jump into just, I just want to talk about just very briefly, I don't want to make this a long video. I just briefly talk about each and every one of them. So maybe you are looking for some new crystal books or, you know, and by the way, you can um, buy any of these books used, I think on Amazon uh, or go to your local bookstore and just like check out and see uh, what their um, book selection looks like and see if you can find any crystal books. Um, so I'm always big on used books. I think these three here were used books because otherwise they would have been very expensive <laughs> to buy. Actually, I think this one was also used and it was like brand new. So I was like pretty stoked. Um, so yeah, um, just, you know, if you're interested in any of them, I'll try to link as many of them down below as possible, you know, in case you want to like check them out, it's like up to you. <laughs> Let's take a look at the crystal healer book by Philip Permit first. And, um, so these ones, I mean, they, they all talk about healing, but this one specifically is for like all about ailments and things like that. Whereas the crystal Bibles, they'll, they, they talk about how crystals can be used in a lot of different ways as well as, um, like physical healing and things like that. Whereas this one is more just, just about that, which I think is pretty cool. Um, this book by no means is an exhaustive list of like all the different crystals that are out there. Um, you know, it does do the basic, like how to work with crystals and, um, you know, using your pendulum with crystals, cleansing crystals, things like that. But then, uh, it's kind of color coded. So you get into like your red crystals, your yellow, your green. Um, let's say you, you know, got into more of the whitish crystals here and let's say you have some selenite, uh, which I have plenty of selenite. Um, and let me just kind of get in close so you guys can see. Okay. So it's a crystallized form of gypsum that is usually clear or white. It says where the common sources that you can find it are. Uh, remember that books can't stay as up to date as the internet. So definitely always like do a lot of online research to go along with your books as well. Um, look at the astrological associations it has. And then here it goes into the healing qualities of this particular crystal. Um, physical, good for sex drive, the menstrual cycle, longevity, skin elasticity, the spine, and youthful appearance helps wrinkles, age spots, and skin problems such as acne, eczema, psoriasis, and skin sensitivity. Helps loss of per fertility, hair loss, epilepsy, and light sensitivity. It alleviates the effects of leakage from mercury amalgam fillings. Helps conditions that are associated with free radicals, including cancers and tumors. Um, and then for emotional or spiritual healing, it helps with abuse. So I found that to be, um, you know, interesting. Uh, it's, it's just... Um, 
very concise and that's that's what I love about it and then when you go to the back if you want to look at very specific like remedies crystal remedies um, for something that you have uh, let's see let's go to um, well there's physical remedies and then there's remedies for emotional ailments let's say you are dealing with uh, death and the dying process. Uh, the reason I, I think I'm drawn to that is because we're in winter and um, that's kind of like the earth dying process. Um, so it says all the different crystals that could be associated with that. So you can then go through and look those crystals up. Um, and it says that they promote acceptance of death and can ease the passing of spirit from the physical body to the next world. So um, I just, <laughs> I love this so much. So I'm pretty sure, you know, if you just checked Amazon, check your local bookstore, check somewhere, you can find these books for used. But, um, I think this is just really handy. Um, and I cross reference it sometimes with my books that aren't specifically for crystals. You know, I have books that are like all kinds of spiritual stuff. Um, and I just, I cross reference my books. I, I never just like have one book and I'm like, ah, this is the tome. <laughs> it's like, oh, um, well that's interesting. Well, let's see what this has to say along with this crystal. And you know, I just, I think it's, I think it's wonderful. So if you're interested, this is the Crystal Healer by Philip Permit. And that is right there. All right. Okay, let's look at our next book. And this is the Book of Crystal Spells. So as you know, I'm kind of a witchy woo. Um, and so I like using uh, lots of different spell books, but of course I, I kind of do my own thing, but I like to use some like written down spells as like jumping off points. Um, but this is interesting ways of just incorporating your crystals. So like if you were just looking for more than just like working with them uh, with the chakras or just more for like, you know, than crystal healing. This is a really, really, really fun book um, on just using it in your spells. So yeah, just giving you guys a little, little flip through see. And of course it says a little bit about those crystals and their connections to the chakras and your basic information, but the spells I think are really fun. So actually let's, let's jump to a spell. Um, Oh, so it's about making your own. Uh, oh, actually, I have made um, a necklace from here. Like it talks about how, how to make your own spiritual um, or crystal jewelry. Uh, so let's, let's look at the table of contents, actually, so I can tell you more accurately everything that's in here. So it tells you about crystal magic. So all the different ways that crystals can help, t can help us out here on Earth. Um, how to make your own jewelry, amulets, and talismans. Um, how to incorporate crystals for home and garden, for elixirs and essences. Um, creating sand and glass spells with your stones. Uh, using it for earth magic, meditations, affirmations. Um, incorporating the numerology associations um, from these stones. How to create crystal grids. Uh, so on and so on. So, hmm. Let's see. Ooh, so here's some talks about the different types of elixirs. So how to make a sun elixir. So that's right here. Um, so there's, you know, a little chant that you can do after following the instructions. I never really follow anything to a T. I go with how I feel. <laughs> I always follow my intuition. Um, so yeah, I just think that this is a wonderful book, by the way. Just on sensory feel, this book feels good. It's got that, oh, I like when books are made like this. It's that, um, almost feels like velvet. It's so, so buttery soft, but it's by Ember Grant. Um, so again, you know, you probably could find it used somewhere instead of paying, uh, whatever, $16.99 US. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely check it out if you're more of the witchy woo type and you are kind of looking to incorporate your crystals in that way. Going on into the crystal code, which I talked about extensively in one of my second or, second or third la to last live chats. This is by Tamara Dreesen, also known as uh, Wolf Sister on um, Instagrams. Um, but what I like about this one, again, not an exhaustive list of like every crystal and mineral on the planet, which by the way, that would be a little hard to do <laughs> because uh, 
crystals and minerals are new ones are being found on like almost a daily basis so these crystals here are crystals that she has um, and she has meditated with them and this is her personal feelings on the crystals which I thought was a lot different I thought was pretty cool yes it does talk about the chakras and you know and cleansing crystals but it's more um, the language is more like a best friend talking to you about them which kind of is like pretty cool like that um and then um let's see let's go to like let's say some of the crystals um okay so let's say we get to uh ametrine here and it says ametrine is about confidence boundaries self-acceptance and balance and then you get down into here which tells you uh, how she has uh, felt that it's used for physical healing, the chakras, uh, where it comes from. There's a, a little quote um, there and then a little bit about the crystal again from her meditation. So all of these were from her meditations, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. So yeah, definitely check this out if you're interested in a more personal view of crystals. Hey, Lokester. Loki likes this book, by the way, so that means you definitely should check it out. <laughs> and um, what do you got to say, Lokester? Hmm. Loki loves crystals. <laughs> These three books I want to talk about together because I I kind of use them together. So whenever I get a new stone. Um, I, I, this is, these are the books that I go to first, uh, just because I really like Judy Hall's writing and how in depth she can get with her, with stones. Let's say I get a crystal and I don't find it in, uh, in the first crystal Bible. I'll look in the second one. I'll look in the third one and usually I'll be able to find it. Um, and so they, they all kind of read about the same. Um, it's just some, it's just, an extension of like more crystals as more crystals were found you know more crystal bibles were created so let's look at the og one actually <laughs> and like i said i got these used because otherwise they would have been kind of pricey so again going into you know the history of crystals and how they've been used for healing and decoration and so on and so on um and then you get into the crystals themselves so Ooh, that's really pretty actually I have seen that before the chrysanthemum stone um, it goes into the colors that it can be found in um, and I've noticed some of the information as far as like where it's sourced um, and the different colors um, is a little out of date sometimes in some stones so like I said always do your like internet research um, because new uh, like new mines sometimes get opened up in different countries and they find like maybe a completely different color, like a new color of the same stone. And, you know, so it's just, yeah. <laughs> so this, I think sometimes gets out of date, but here is where I think it does not. And so it has some attributes of it, how to use it for healing and different positions to wear it on the body or in your environment. Oh, and one of my favorite stones, Chrysacola. So I, again, I just like the writing. I like how in depth that is. Um, you know, Judy Hall is considered one of the uh, crystal experts in her field. So, yeah, and might as well flip through the crystal Bible with you guys. It definitely has a larger quartz section because of all the different types of quartz that are out there. Um, and then going into the crystal Bible number three. It's just freaking awesome. Again, a, a nice quartz section. So yeah, so there you go. That's it, you guys. If I can't just like knock my books over, uh, these are these are all the books that I you know use right now with my crystals and cross referencing and you know anytime I want to look a little bit more in depth about the crystals that I have after I've already meditated with them. Um, and so I just thought it might be interesting just to share the types of books that I have with you guys. You know, maybe you can go uh, check them out at your local library, something like that. Um, and definitely check out the used section um, on the Amazons or wherever you like to get your used books. And like I said, I'll try to post a link down below for as many of these books as I can find uh, on Amazon if you're interested. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any comments or questions about the books that you've seen here today. Um, and yeah, 
So <laughs> if you want to catch a reading with me, um, and I do incorporate crystals into readings, by the way, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. And if you want to send a little love my way because you like what I do here on YouTube and with my spiritual business, then head over to patreon.com slash kittensweightsandtarot. You get lots of freebies. And um, for as little as a dollar a month, it really does help out a lot over here. So um, yeah, I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.